Everyone, I want to go over how much I spend, what is my cost of trading via all the services, news, data, stuff like that. Basically, what's the cost I pay to be able to trade at home in my Lululemon shorts and my $2 folding chair? Yeah, well, let's go over it. So number one, my option scanner. I paid $320 for each of them, which I have two per month. So $320 times two, that's $640 or my option scanner. That's per month. So maybe we can make a thing on the video uh, graph. Then I pay $63 a month just for pricing fees. So I get where I can see prices and uh, everything like that. Then I'll also have my newsfeed. I personally like it, not that I need it, but I'm used to it. and. I could see like the he the headline news without having to watch CNBC or something like that. That I pay $68 a month, 60 or $69 a month. Then I have subscription services to like online publications like the Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, Barron's, uh, stuff like that, that do I actually need? No, do I enjoy reading it on occasion? Yeah, so let's just group that in for, uh, we'll use 40 bucks a month make it a nice pretty number. And then you do have it occasionally. I will watch like the Bloomberg or CNBC or, you know, the news. So let's incorporate that. And I don't know what I pay a month for that. So I probably should know this stuff. This is part of a horrible budget. Just like you have the Hulu, the Netflix, the HBO Max. I couldn't tell you what I pay. So maybe we'll do like 10 bucks a month. That sounds a little cheap, but we'll include that for like YouTube TV and and uh, all those kind of cable networks just for my other part. This is not including any newsletters or no other online publications that I pay for my entertainment. That is just the cost that I feel like I need to trade and be knowledgeable on the markets where I know like what's the day to day news and if I want to find like why is the stock moving or when does the company have earnings or what their earnings results are, what are, you know, the commentator saying, just a different perspective than this big head's perspective. So I don't know what that breaks down to. I don't want to do the math in my head, but if we have that on the screen, then you know, what's my cost of trading. Again, this is not including any services and stuff or, you know, any bonus things that sometimes I like to engage on just to see what other people are doing. But not that it's as good as my stuff, as we all know, out there. I'm Lance Apolito. I'm curious to know what the number is. What do you think? Do I pay too much, too little? Do you pay too much, too little? Or make me feel good about myself and, you know, stuff like that. Don't even get me started on commissions and stuff that, you know, yeah, that uh, that trading is. Because I don't use Robin Hood or those free uh, platforms. So that might be a whole other video. I'm Lance, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, you know, all that, whatever YouTube algorithm stuff. And yes, that isn't the share that I use. We can't use that into the cost because that's probably two, three bucks, one of the good old folding chairs.